12 with just a little over 24 hours until the next GOP debate in Florida. Sarah Palin is once again hunting at a hinting rather at a possible run for the White House in her latest appearance on Fox News. For more on this and latest on the latest here on the race for the White House, we're joined now by Michelle Cottle of Newsweek and The Daily Beast. Uh, Michelle, you know, Sarah Palin uh, still getting the headlines back on Fox last night. Once again, dropping hints that she may run. And we all know that she said it's by the end of September that she will make some sort of decision. What do you make of what she's thinking now? Although, in her, uh, you know, her latest, she's talking about how this is such an unconventional race that she might need to go longer to make More her decision. More than September. Exactly. We could be doing this guessing game. Basically, you get the sense she wakes up in the morning, she Googles herself. If she's getting enough attention, that's fine. If she's not getting enough attention, maybe we talk about running in 2012. The Google measure of whether or not to run for the president of the United States. Uh, there's also the new Rick Perry ad, which some may have seen. It, it seems highly produced, very impressive, and it looks like it's a Hollywood movie trailer if you've seen it. What are your thoughts on it? Look, Rick Perry is no slouch at campaigning. He also has an ability to pull in the bucks. He will not be underfunded at this. And, you know, with him in the race, this actually brings up the question of what gap Sarah Palin thinks that she would fill in this Republican field. If you, if you look across it, if you think it's missing anything, it's hard to say if what it would be missing is Sarah Palin at this stage of the game. Uh, what is being made of what Perry and Mitt Romney have said about the president's uh, policy and his stance on the Middle East? Uh, Chris criticizing it, basically. I want to play just a little bit for you of the reaction from my colleague uh, Joe Scarborough on Morning Joe. He had something to say about it, and take a listen to this. This is not helpful when our president, our president, America's president, is in the difficult situation that he is in today in New York City with, with I think, one of the most explosive situations on the globe. What do you think? Well, it's always tricky when the uh, president is being criticized on foreign affairs in a campaign situation. But, you know, Republicans like to put it out there that the president has been bad for Israel and bad in the Middle East peace process. So this is probably not the last we're going to hear of this. I mean, this is going to be a, a theme that they come back to. Michelle Cottle, thank you.